Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. Arsenal are interested in the Real Madrid goalkeeper, Andre Lonin. Ha, we meet again Real Madrid. You know, we don't regularly play football matches, especially competitive ones. I don't think we've played any since 2006, but we are very close with Real Madrid. You know, same sponsor. We're both sponsored by Emirates. 15 Champions League titles between us. You know, both of us, we really get along. And I don't think I've ever proper thanked Real Madrid, you know, for da Danny Sabayas and for Odegaard. I've never really sat down and thanked them properly. And, you know, Danny Sabayas actually helped us win the FA Cup. He was part of that run, crucial part of that. And Odegaard has just been incredible. He's ended up being our captain. So the last couple of players picked up for Madrid, especially the last one, the most recent one, absolutely incredible. Now, could we end up getting another one? Arsenal are interested in Andre Lonin. Now, it's a crazy one. I know people will talk about priorities and everything. It's a weird one. I didn't expect us to be talking about, you no, know, a goalkeeper might even end up being the number one at Arsenal. That's crazy because it's, it's like you buy a new house and then, you know, you already have a TV. So, you know, your next check, you're going to purchase a, a new sofa for your new house. But then instead of buying the sofa, you buy a second television. It seems weird because it feels like goalkeeper wise, we're okay. We still don't know the future about Ra of Ramsdale, but we feel like goalkeeper, we are wait. Okay, okay. We just need a left back, maybe a midfielder, maybe um, a forward player or something. But we are linked to Andre Loney. Now, there's a lot to discuss in terms of this goalkeeper. So this is what has been reported from Miguel Diaz. Of, um, he specializes on uh, Real Madrid news and also um, Spanish news. Arsenal are interested in signing Real Madrid's Andre Loney. That's, that's not news I was expecting to come out today because... Andre Lunin, I don't really actually see him as a backup goalkeeper. I know when Real Madrid got in Kepa, this you could have considered Lunin as a third choice goalkeeper behind Cotua and also um, Kepa. But regularly watching Lunin this season, he's been absolutely incredible for them. Now, obviously, for different reasons, Cotua has gotten game time for different reasons. He, was man he managed to play 21 La Liga games this season and 31 in all competitions, including some incredible Champions League performances. Now, he was like in terms of getting game time because, you know, um, Kotu was injured. Um, Kepa's form dropped off. There's also a time that Kepa got injured and Lodin played in that game. I think Kepa was supposed to start and all that. And he's gotten a lot of opportunities now. We've seen him playing a lot this season, more than we've ever seen him play um, for Real Madrid before. And he's been absolutely incredible. There's a particular game I still remember from the top of my head um, against Leipzig away from home. I think it was the first leg of the Champions League. Um, I don't know if it was quarterfinal or round of 16, one of them. He was absolutely incredible. He actually matched um, a record in, in that game Cotua's record from the Champions League final a couple of years ago. He made nine saves against Leipzig away from home. And another one that I actually didn't know, I just came across it a couple of minutes ago, is that he also made eight saves against Man City when they played in the Champions League. And on top of that, if you remember, he made a save um, against, he saved Bernardo Silva's penalty and he also saved. Um, Kovacic's penalty, although there weren't great penalties, but he still saved them and they went all the way to the final. In fact, he was supposed to start in the final ahead of Kotu. I think he got sick or got an injury or something. I think if he was there, he would actually have played. There was Real Madrid fans saying this is so unlucky. He's the one who's supposed to be playing. He's the one who's helped us get to this point. And looking at this news, this piece of news from Madrid fans, um, the comments from Madrid fans are like, nah, we can't sell him right now. The only thing you can take him on loan is still need him in the team, you know, and all that. And Kepa is leaving Real Madrid. And Kocho doesn't have too long to go and his SEL doesn't work great these days. He gets a lot of um, injuries in terms of the knee. So you could easily see Lunin being the first choice goalkeeper of Real Madrid for the next couple of years. You know, he's just a champion. He's a Champions League winner twice. He's won the league as well. And he was a crucial part for them winning the league this season. Um, the Champions League this season, um, Andre Lunin. Now, um, he's only 25 years of age. And that brings me to our goalkeeper links now. Hi, this is a tough one because for goalkeepers, we already know Ramsey is potentially going to leave. So we thought Troy was going to make his deal permanent and then you're going to get a second choice goalkeeper. And for second choice goalkeeper, it depends on what you want. Do you want um, a Jason Steele from Brighton, 33 years of age, someone who's just, just going to come and be a backup? You can get someone like a Digia, you know, older as a backup, the way man still have Carson as a third choice goalkeeper, you know, players like that, 35 year olds who are just going to be on the bench, like a Chesney, someone like that, ending, you know, the latter part of their careers. They would be able to, you know, be on the bench, happy to be on the bench, play six, seven games in the season, help out the first choice goalkeeper. Absolutely no problem. That is what, that, that's the first option. Get an experienced goalkeeper to help out the younger goalkeeper and then happy be on the bench. 
The second option is to get a younger goalkeeper like a James Trafford, you know, an 18-year-old, 19-year-old goalkeeper who's also happy to be on the bench and they can debutize well when um, David Raya is not there and without any complaints or any, any news from the media saying, you know, why is Raya playing instead of Ramsdale and this and that? There was a lot of that last season. It was it caused a lot of commotion, commotion you know, uh, Ramsdale's father talking in the mid, like it just, it was too much. It was a bit of, um, it cost, maybe even cost us a couple of games in terms of concentration and all that. It was too much um, at that time. That's the second option get a younger goalkeeper the third option which i didn't think we were going to get is someone to actually compete with the first choice goalkeeper because i don't necessarily see loaning as a bad goalkeeper as a goalkeeper is just going to come and sit on the bench if he's going to leave real madrid him he he's looking for some fast team football if not if he just wants to be a second choice goalkeeper he can just stay on a trail madrid and you know play second fiddle to um go to an exit and maybe even take over from him so he doesn't really have any need of leaving uh, real madrid the truth is in football they usually say a lot of people want to play for real madrid that is true They've won 15 Champions League or we've won 15 Champions League uh, titles between us. You know, people who want to play for Real Madrid. That's why Mbappé is going to go there. That's why players like Bellingham, it's a dream to play there. So they wouldn't really make sense to leave Real Madrid and to, to join a different team unless you're going to be a first choice in that um, in that team. Or maybe he's coming to be first choice. Maybe he's not actually coming to be the, the second choice goalkeeper. You know, Rye is not yet a goalkeeper yet. We've not yet paid the money for him yet. He was on loan last season. That's why he couldn't play against Brentford. Now, Atta is a very ruthless manager. You already know about it. You know, when you think Ramsdale is definitely going to be there the next season, or you think Aubameyang is definitely going to be there, or you think, you know, um, Zinchenko is definitely going to be there, he replaces very quickly, you know? Um, the the whole Wenger team is basically gone. Emery's team is basically gone. He's already bought players, players and replaced them within a couple of years. The likes of Lokonga and Tavares and Ramsdale and all those guys. So maybe he feels like, okay, Raya has made a couple of mistakes. I'm not happy with that. Let's go and get Lonin. Or maybe Lonin just became available and he's like, let's go and get Lonin. Or the other thing is, maybe he actually wasn't lying about being, wanting to change goalkeepers at halftime. Maybe he felt like Ramsdale isn't really the one that he wants to change at halftime to bring on at halftime because he isn't really going to give him what he wants. But maybe he feels if you have a combination of Ryan Lonin, you can actually change the goalkeepers around. Maybe he actually wasn't lying about that. Maybe you're actually going to see that next season. So it's a very weird one. I did not expect us to be linked to a goalkeeper. Um, because of priorities, thinking striker, midfielder, for me, midfielder, striker, then winger. And for someone like Alonin, I don't think it's going to be five million. It's going to be a lot of a lot of money. He really helped them in those Champions League games, those nine saves against Leipzig. Leipzig could easily have won that game 2-0 in Germany. The game against Man City at the Etihad, Man City could have won that game. We would, we would never have seen penalties in that game. And one of the main reasons was Lonin. Lonin was very, very good now. He is from uh, Ukraine. Maybe we can have some convincing from Zinchenko. Uh, maybe that could be could be the deal. Maybe so. It's very hard to know what is going to happen this season. We thought it was hard in terms of striker and midfielder and winger. It's even now harder to predict who's going to be our goalkeeper next season. You know, it could end up being Lonin. Raya might even not sign for us. That is the crazy part. I thought that was like right direct. He's definitely going to sign for us. But no. Now, what if Lonin comes in and becomes, you know, a regular goalkeeper for us? What is he going to bring um to Arsenal? Now, in terms of shot stopping, as I said, he is very good. He can make eight, nine saves in a season, uh, in a game, sorry, not in a season. Now, okay, with our defense, he might have to make only eight or nine in a season. But his um shot stopping is great. His concentration levels is um, are great as well, and and um, it basically the main thing is shot stopping. You know, a goalkeeper can that's that's the first job we need to do to save shots, and he's very good at that. And you know, punching the ball and all that is very good. Now, something that is not as good as Raya is the kicking, is the, the long passes and all that. So that is why Raya is better. So that's why I'm thinking. Surely, there's no chance that he gets rid of Raya and then brings in Luna as the first choice goalkeeper. So now it becomes even tougher. Is it going to be Lonin and Ramsdale? Is it going to be Lonin and Raya? Is it going to be still Raya and Ramsdale? Is it going to be Carl Hein getting a chance? Because we're also trying to get um, Carl Hein a new contract. And I'd still definitely love to keep clean sheets because still right now is looking for left backs and goalkeepers. Looks like he wants 25 clean sheets next season. I'm not going to um, complain at all. Um, I trust Edu and say in terms of um, getting a uh, doing whatever they're doing in the market. The only thing you can do now is to keep on improving the team. Next season, you pick up 94 points, must you pick up 95? You can't sit down and cry about it. You have to go next season again. If it means you need to get a, th a third goalkeeper on top of that, you need to get another Saliba. If you need to get another Odegaard, if it means you need to go for more shopping at Real Madrid or, you know, Man City. But the Real Madrid, close relationship. If you want to give someone Rod Rodrigo, hi, we are available. If you want to, Vinicius, 
they're available as well if you want to give them to us. So um, it's it's a really strange one. Uh, but Lonin, I think, is a very good goalkeeper. Now, usually the goalkeepers like um, Bailo from Feyenoord we've been linked to, we don't usually watch them regularly. Like I've only watched Bailo like maybe once this season and, you know, not in detail because I didn't know he was going to be linked to Arsenal. But watching Real Madrid against Man City twice in the Champions League and also them playing against Leipzig twice and also watching them in the group stage and also watching them at the end of the season, um, a lot of games, at least 20 Real Madrid games this season i've seen what he's capable of and there's even a time i watched one of the real madrid games i was like this guy was the third choice behind Couture and kepa like this guy's incredible this that 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 choice goalkeeper so yeah let's see what is going to happen in this deal are we going to get him are you guys interested in getting this goalkeeper what do you think is going to happen do you think that's just ruthless and he's going to send raya back to brentford i think that was an obligation to buy that if i'm not wrong uh, but again, it depends. Maybe Brentford feel like they need to bring him back <laughs> in Fleck and it's not really the answer for them. So it's a really weird situation. But um, Lonin, the latest news from Spain is that Andre Lonin um, is attracting interest from Arsenal and it could actually end up right now. This would be like our fifth goalkeeper, you know, Raya, Ramsdale, Lonin. Carl Hein or Conco, a lot of uh, a lot of um, goalkeepers, but that is a weird one. Let's see what happens with this one. Is this our priority? Who knows? Um, just don't concede goals. Absolutely fine. Maybe Real Madrid don't need to, you know, maybe they don't need a goalkeeper. They now have Mbappe Bellingham. They can score 10 goals per game. Maybe they don't really need a goalkeeper, but let me know what you make about all that. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.